can be great family heirlooms, but if yours is looking, well, a little worse for the wear, <laughs> Orly has a really creative and great idea and way to repurpose all of that china into keepsake jewelry. Yeah, exactly. It's this beautiful. It Orly. really, I, I'm really excited. It came out beautiful, and this was all inspired by a, a card we got at the mailbox wall from, uh, from Heather, who's a viewer of the show. And really, if something breaks and it's already broken, all you need to do is break it more. <laughs> I mean, it's so I clever. It's so fun. So take a look at this video. This is me this morning getting some of the pieces broken. I put a giant plate into the plat. Oh, not yet. Ah, not yet. And then there you, go. you just smash it in a thick, thick plastic bag, and you will end up with more pieces than you know what to do with. It's like you're at a Greek wedding. I mean, you know, my people, they break the plates at weddings. I wedding. feel like I'd really fit in. I, I have a wedding coming up. I'll bring you some of the shards Thank you. I'll back. be your plus one. Thank you. So basically <laughs> what you want to do is you want to go through the bag and pick out the pieces that are about the right size and shape for whatever you're trying to make. Okay. Earrings, rings, whatever it is. You're going to have more than you need, so you don't need to really re-break any pieces to make them smaller. Just look for the pieces that end up as the right shape. Okay. Once you do that, you kind of want to sand off the edges. So I just have a little bit of sandpaper and you want to take one of the pieces and you're basically just going to go back and forth. This will not only make the edges softer to the touch, but it'll get rid of any random tiny little bumps. Okay. So if you've got bigger bumps, I would recommend putting it flat on the table and like really rubbing it. Okay. If they're only a little, you can kind of just pick it up like a nail file. Okay, you want to make it safe. Exactly. Now what we're gonna use is something called foil tape. I've really fallen in love with this I've stuff. I've used this before, I'm obsessed yeah. with it. On the pressed flower yeah. coasters. Yeah, they were so beautiful. It's so cool and it really does emulate the look of like hardware, like jewelry hardware. It's so nice. what I have here is a copper piece. This particular kind has a paper backing that you have to peel off. Each one's different. If it has the paper backing, peel it. If not, don't worry about it. Okay. And now there's two ways that you can do it. One is you can run it right along the edge so that from the front, it's flush and you don't see it, but from okay. the side, it covers the edges. Now, the other option is to actually run it a little up and fold oh, it I down. Oh, I like that one. Just like that. So see how it gives that nice crisp, crisp sure. edge? It actually looks like this is sitting into yep. like a pendant holder. It looks more expensive that way. It really does. So you can do it either way that you want. Once you run it all along the edge, I would say maybe go around it two or three times just so that it starts to Thick. really look substantial. For argument's sake, obviously that's not perfect, but right, I'm gonna okay. give a little snip we got the and idea. fold it down. Okay. Now, this is a really important step in the designing of this. You wanna know in advance what color you want all of your hardware to be. So if you're gonna have, let's say, a rose gold uh, tape, you wanna make sure that you have a rose gold pendant holder okay. and the same color chain. That way you can see over here, everything matches. So on so a piece like this, we've got the black on the side with the black holder and then the black chain. So now we're just gonna take a little bit of E6000. That's really beautiful, Orly. It's, isn't it fun? Every single one of those is equally as beautiful and different. And Thank again, you. what a great way to honor your grandmother's yes. china or you know a family heirloom. Because the truth of the matter is, as the years progress, I have fewer and fewer friends who actually use their china. Yeah. You know, you people come over, you get to see it in the in the china case, but nobody really uses no. it anymore. No, and especially if, you know, in the case of our, our mailbox wall, if the piece has been broken, don't throw it away. This is absolutely a way to commemorate it in a different way. So once this has dried and the little tab is on there, it's really strong. It's not gonna come off. You can tug on it. You can also cover the entire back if you want with the foil sure. tape so that if it does flip, you see a nice crisp back. Other than that, you can do anything. I've even done rings and you can see I use the foil tape as a design on the front. So okay, really have fun with it. You just would wrap a piece. So instead of just leaving it as is. Is this the ring thing? Those are the ring bases. Okay. So you glue it to the top, but instead of leaving it as is, you would basically take this and run it like across the top just like that. And so make it look like it's inset again. Yeah, so it just becomes a detail. So on the rings, I just did it as a little detail um, just because I thought the metallic was so cool. So really, have, have at it. You need very few materials to do this. And the therapy of breaking that plate, you guys. Oh, it's so much fun. Woo! It really is a lot of fun. My I people, wanted to do like. My people know it's yeah. <laughs> Where do you get these? Just Amazon? Oh, Rings? yeah. You can get them at any jewelry store online, whatever it is. You're, when I looked for this, I just typed in pendant backs, and that's when I found these little guys. Ring blanks is where you'll find this, and same with earrings. Earring blanks. Generally, when you type that in, you're going to find exactly what you need. I love this. So just go to one of the secondhand stores, buy your, and just make it. And that I mean, way you're not breaking anything. Yeah, exactly. You're no, not breaking any hearts. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much, Orly. This is so cool. For full instructions, visit hallmarkchannel.com.